Hey guys, this is an app reviewer. Today we'll be taking a look at the ultra thin air case from SGP for the Samsung Galaxy S2. I do hope that you enjoy the quality of this video just because I picked up the new Canon HF M400 and hopefully it will be an improvement over my previous quality. So here we have the case itself. It retails for $21.99 so it's one of SGP's cheaper cases for the Galaxy S2 and I'll tell you why. Let's take out the goodie pack and like SGP always does, they include an ultra crystal screen protector which we have right here I do think these are the highest quality of screen protectors and I'm actually glad they sent me out their cases just because now I have a couple of these to hold on to and you also get something that you normally don't get with a case you get these side protection films as you can see right there so they basically go on the side of your phone or on the case and what they do is they provide a little bit more grip on there so if you do want to add that it's pretty nice and you also get a microfiber cloth so cool then to include that with the case here we have the case itself it's a thin snap on the back case so obviously it won't provide much in terms of protection as you can see right here on the back it does tend to pick up a lot of fingerprints it does scratch up a little bit but it has a UV coating on here so it should not scratch up that much and over my three or four days of usage I haven't noticed much scratching but more fingerprinting as you can see it is a glossy back so it will fingerprint like crazy very easy to do that so let's pop this onto the phone and we'll see exactly how it fits. Here we have the phone. I do have an SGP glass screen protector on here. And I have no issues with any screen protectors just because the case itself, the actual screen part does not come up fully so there's no issues with bubbling at all. But at the same time, there is no lay on the table design so if you were to place this screen side down with a naked screen you might risk scratching up your display so just something to take note of. Right here on the back you do have a very nice cutout for the 8 megapixel camera. It is a little recessed in there so you don't have to worry about the camera scratching up if you were to place this face down. Right here on the bottom you do have a very nice cutout if this will focus in for the speaker. There is no issues with muffling at all and I am pretty impressed with all of SGP's cutouts. Right down here it does say SGP case, that's their logo. At the bottom, and I'm not a big fan of this, they did leave it very exposed as you can see. And this is basically just the nature of the case. Snap-on cases will provide side protection but not top and bottom protection. So in this case, it does leave the micro USB port and the microphone very exposed. So like I said, I'm not a big fan of that. If you were to drop this and it fell around this area, I do see this cracking potentially. At the top, you do have that same style cutout for the headphone jack and the secondary microphone. And you do have a nice separate cutout for the antenna. Obviously, I can't try that out, but it does look like it works just fine. Your power button is cut out very nicely. It has a contour shape, sort of a pill shape. And it does extend outwards just a little bit, so this does allow you to press it with relative ease. No issues with that. And same thing goes for the left-hand side. So the volume up and down, very easy to press, super responsive. These cutouts are actually very nice, very precise all around there, as you can see. So obviously in terms of protection, you're really not going to get much just because this is a super thin case. It's very lightweight, doesn't add much bulk. And really, they're looking for a market of people that just want scratch protection on the back of their device. It's not very slippery as I, or as slippery as I thought it'd be, but that's probably why they added that side protection, just so you can have something more grippy to hold on to. It does seem to rattle inside a little bit, so that's something that concerns me. So I do have the casemate barely there, and I have been rocking that case for the past couple of days as well. I've been taking this one and that one on just to see the difference between the quality of the two. And my main concern is that the barely there seems to fit super tightly, and that's great. This one does not fit as tight, so I do see my phone, or I do feel my phone rattling in there just a little bit. Not enough to separate the case from the phone, but enough to alarm me about it or be a little bit of a concern so it's just something I wanted to throw out there so overall guys I do think the case itself is pretty decent I probably wouldn't recommend it to many people just because I know that a lot of people do cherish their $700 phones and they're looking for protection when they get a case but it's not a bad deal at all you do get a screen protector you get the side protection kit and the case itself like I said is pretty decent so this is really made for the kind of person that does not need much in terms of protection just needs some basic scratch protection or wants to keep their phone as thin and as light as possible so overall guys I'd say if you are that kind of person then check it out otherwise 
check out the casemate barely there which is the same style case it has a soft touch back so it provides a little better grip but it is a little bit more expensive as well so if you want to check out casemate but also check out these guys over at www.sgpstore.com and once again thanks a lot to Delbert over there for sending out the case for reviewing purposes and thanks to you for being a viewer thanks a lot guys cheers